Well, uh, this is Kumar Gupta, as you know, and uh, I'm a performance testing trainer. Uh, trainer. Uh, welcome to Isha Performance Testing Training Institute. And uh, I'll be starting a, a batch soon, uh, which is starting from 17th July next Monday. And the delivery mode will be online, which means that wherever you are in the world, you can attend my courses. And uh, uh, well, if you want to register for my courses, uh, you see the contact details out there. You will be able to register it from here, from the contact details. If you're in India, you can call me on 801-995-2427. Call me up and then we can uh, I can register you for the course. Or if you're in any other country, you can add, add me to that WhatsApp and then you can WhatsApp me or you can do a WhatsApp call and uh, we can do the registrations going or you can send out a mail to kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. Well, you can WhatsApp me or email me for any questions on this course. And the course for fee, if you are in India, it's $9,500 for this batch. If you are elsewhere in the world, it's $170 US dollars for you. Well, uh, if you quickly want to know about myself, uh, the trainer. Uh, well, I've been running this channel for a while and uh, I have been added a few videos here and there. Uh, well, depending on the videos, you can gauge me uh, what kind of knowledge I have and uh, what kind of training skills I have. Uh, about myself, uh, uh, I've been uh, working in the software from last 14 years, started my career in US, done my master's in US, moved back, in, moved back to India a few years back. I worked as a uh, performance test lead, performance test engineer and performance test manager for various organizations. I served various positions, I have knowledge on automation and manual testing as well, uh, even though I do trainings only on performance testing. Uh, and uh, as, per, as per my training experience, well, I've been doing trainings from last six years. I've, I've worked for big companies like Infosys and I've worked in their uh, um, uh, department, training department called ETA. I've delivered both classroom trainings, online trainings, classroom trainings as big as 200 people, 300 people, and even online trainings as big as 30, 40 and as low as 1, 2 as well. Uh, well, that's my experience. Uh, that's my experience. And uh, let's get into the uh, coursework as to what we will be covering as a part of the coursework. Uh, well, <coughs> as you can see, this is the course performance testing using Loadrunner version 12.5 course. Uh, I'll be training you on Loadrunner uh, version 12.5 using version 12.5. And uh, who can attend this course? Well, anybody who doesn't have a knowledge on Loadrunner, they can attend. But it will be ideal for the ones who has little bit of knowledge on Loadrunner, little bit played around and learn a little bit of recording here and there. But they want to learn something advanced. They want to learn something more. And they want to become really good with scripting. I mean, the VUG and scripting. So this course is specifically for them. Having zero to minimum knowledge. When I said minimum knowledge, you can record the scripts, you can add uh, transactions, you can add uh, um, uh, well uh, checkpoints here and there, a little bit of knowledge, okay, not much. Uh, even you don't know that, it's still fine. You can still attend that. Depending on the audience, I can always uh, modify the course, adjust the course, and also, also take some special classes. I can do all that to get you going, but. By the end of the course, what you would become is you become really confident with views and scripting. Okay, it's not just record and playback. You would understand that it's more than record and playback. And in the real time, when you get into the projects, you'll become much more confident. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be covering only web HTTP HTML protocol. Cover a little bit of basics like, you know, what are this uh, smoke test or shakedown test and then load test, stress test, endurance test and uh, workload modeling, which is very, very important. I spent quite some time on this and I will give some assignments as well. And uh, sniffing tools, so I'll be using HTTP watch to look at or sniff to sniff at this HTTP data. Uh, we look at the different methods of HTTP like post, get method, post method, put method and how they are different. There are a lot of interview questions around that. So I'll be covering and moreover, I'll, each and every topic I'll be covering every single interview question and the sessions will be recorded and it will be given to you. So which means that at any point of time you go through the sessions again which means that you can go through all the interview questions which are discussed as a part of the class and you can renew your knowledge again and again. Uh, <coughs> well, 
as I've told you, uh, you will be becoming very confident uh, by the end of the course with VUGEN scripting, which means that we have to cover all the possible C functions, not all the possible, but main C functions that we regularly use, like ATOI, ITOS, printf, STR, CMP, and uh, like you want to call multiple different actions from a main action you can do all that and i'll be covering loops for loop do while while loop strings and arrays and uh, file operations like f open f close f write and all that uh, so this will be very, very useful if you want to go a little bit of advanced scripting and all that and you want to use all your skill c skills you know how to get you how to use all those c skills will be used uh, will be explained in these sessions and there are different modes, URL mode, HTML mode. Most of you might be using only the U HTML mode. So I'll be covering the URL mode, how the script will be generated, how different it is from HTML mode. And when we use this URL mode, how, 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 we, how it captures the script for different components, the significance of it, all that will be covered. The frequently we have used LR functions like LR, LR param printf, LR save string, LR save int, and few more functions that you might want to. We can cover all that. Uh, then the script enhancements, once you record, we'll be covering. These are the basic things I expect you would know the, all of this, but in case if you don't know, I'll be covering all this, like uh, comments, tr transaction points, checkpoints, image uh, image points, parameterization. What I will be covering is not only just file, but other parameter types like random number, v user in it, LG, load generators, and when they will be used in the scripting. That is most important thing. Okay, I'll be covering all that. And LR exit, which I have didn't put it over here. I should have uh, ideally added this LR exit function here. So LR exit is something uh, I'll be covering as well. And uh, what are the different options which are available in LR exit? I'll be covering all that. Correlations, very, very important. If you know such an such an uh, importance that correlation holds is you know correlation you know load runner you don't know correlation you don't know load runner it's as simple as that so i'll be teaching you in the internal working of correlation how why we need to do this correlation and how the correlation works what is this function webridge save param actually capture and where it will store how it is doing i'll be doing like a step by step uh, execution using the step-by-step -step execution I'll be clearly showing you how the function works so that it gets into your mind and in any interview or when you whenever you use it uh, you will have no issues with that or, uh, at all okay and in case if this left boundary right boundary are varying we have to use regular expressions I'll be covering all that and uh, the different things like in correlation we have different parameters like ordinal all save off count offset you know save length all this will be covered as a part of this coursework. And the difference between uh, WebRest Save Param underscore EX, WebRest Save Param underscore RegEx, and WebRest Save Param. What is the difference and why do we do it? All that will be covered. And most importantly, the scripting standards when you get into the real time project, how your script has to be. You cannot just record, playback, add transactions, and that's about it. There is a particular way the script has to be. What is the industry standards for that will be covered. As a part of that, as a part of scripting standards, I'll be covering the error handling. As like, what is that error handling? Why we need to add that uh, to the script and where we need to add that? Do we need to add that for every single transaction? Yes, all that. And the error handling, we cover it in two ways. One is using the save count of WebRage find. The save count is the parameter of WebRage find. We'll cover that and also using web get int property, wherein we will use the HTTP response code to see if the transaction is a pass or a fail. So that's what will be covered as a part of error, error handling. The logs, Debugging, regeneration of scripts, everything will be covered. Okay, so this is what we'll master. And if you have any uh, extra topics to be covered, like uh, um, uh, whatever you can think of, you know, delimiters, string delimiters, how, how do I handle that? Or you want to download something, how do I know if the file has been downloaded, how the load runner um, or a VUGEN works when you're downloading or uploading, um, you know, what happens, I can guide you with all that, with some scripts and all that. By the way, I'll be using the web, web tools which comes with the, with the tool itself as a sample applications, but I'll give you a mini project by the end of the course that will be using a different application, which is a JPEG store application. So now you will have a hang of two applications and then you can learn the script using two applications, which means that you are much more equipped to handle any other applications.
resume preparation and interview assistance will be given when i said interview assistance i'll be covering all the interview questions as the course goes on wherever the course uh, wherever the topic that i'm discussing it i'll uh, i'll try to cover every single interview question which comes around that and uh, and when it comes to parameters is one point that i forgot to tell you in parameterization there is something called sequential unique and random when you are selecting a value so what is the difference there are a lot of interview questions around that so i would like to cover that was uh, that one as well so as this course is mainly designed for v, uh, vhn i'll spend a lot of time on vhn mostly 70 to 80 percent on the vhn but any course you still have to do analyzing and controller part I'll be covering the controller part as well as the analysis part okay so uh, when it comes to controller part I'll be covering all the options with which you can design the scenario and run it uh, like scenario by schedule by scenario schedule by group basic schedule real world schedule all that will be covered and uh, like how do you uh, define the ramp up steady state ramp down and uh, uh, how do you handle the randover points from here every single option that you see in the controller will be covered like you want to while the scenario is executing you want to add few virtual users how we can add it or we can cut down on few virtual users how we can do it how do how do i handle different lgs how do i calculate how many lgs i need for this particular project um, the groups the scenarios Every, everything will be covered as a part of this and finally the analysis part the basic analysis will be covered the tool itself like hits per second throughput the client side monitoring is what i will be covering okay uh, transaction summary average transaction response time and graph settings everything will be covered and what is this 90 percentile time and how do we calculate the tool is calculating and even case if the client is asking for me for 95 percentile time or 85 percentile time We'll cover that and if the report you wanted to filter the whole report for its period how do i filter we'll cover all that okay so all that will be done calculation of throughput will be done using workload modeling which i'll be covering at the start of the class so i'm taking away that so workload modeling will help you to calculate the throughput so there is no need of calculation of throughput over there so this is what i will be covering as a part of the coursework uh, well, if you still, um, uh, whoever needs it, as I've told you, you can send me the email or WhatsApp me. I'll be sending this uh, uh, course content uh, document to you in case if you need it. And the course starts next week, guys. Good luck. If you have any questions, you call me. And uh, thank you so much for hearing this. And uh, if you already know this, if you want to recommend to your friend, I would really appreciate that. Go ahead. Whoever is subscribed for my channel, they want to subscribe. Uh, they can certainly do that and um, I can send you my YouTube uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn link wherein you can see my recommendations as to how, uh, how what all the people have to say about my course earlier so if you need it let me know uh, and uh, my LinkedIn profile uh, quickly I'll open it for you you can add it if you want uh, hang on Oops, there is no internet connection. So, in case uh, if you need, if you need uh, uh, my LinkedIn profile, you can let me know. I can quickly uh, uh, send the LinkedIn profile. You can look at the recommendations, or you you can ask for some so that I can forward you. Thank you, guys. Looking forward for the course uh, and meeting you at the course. Uh, and uh, as per the uh, payment, you know, you can attend few demo classes, like a couple of them before you can decide you want to join or not. So it's not like you pay and you attend. You can attend, you can gauge me and you can pay. Well, on that note, I'll close the uh, I'll, I'll close this one.